guys, welcome back to Ethereal Orb. I am Megan. Um, and if you're new to my channel or you just haven't um, seen a recent one, I just wanted to remind you that we have the Happy Pouring um, 2018 hashtag. If you would like to join in and share what you're doing, um, or if you take on any of the challenges or um, anything that you know take inspiration from and you want to share, I follow that hashtag. Um, or if you just want to post what you're doing, love to see what everybody is doing and finding new um, artists on um, Instagram and such. And let you know too that I started a Facebook group for all fluid art. So if you do fluid acrylic, if you do um, resin or alcohol ink or, you know, um, there's all kinds of inks. So um, anything that's fluid, you're welcome to join us. It's just a tiny group at the moment um, and we'll see how it grows. But it's um, Fluid Art Fanatic, so if you type in facebook.com slash groups slash Fluid Art Fanatics, um, you'll pull that up. You should be able to search for it. Um, if you can't find it, um, you can let me know on a comment on here, or you can always find me on Facebook under Ethereal Orb and let me know that you want to be added to that group. Um, and you can see what everybody is up to and share all your fluid art. Today I am doing kind of a sunset-y thing. Kinda. Uh, that's why I took the inspiration for my colors anyway. So I'm using uh, Anita's eggplant. Um, my light is buzzing. Um, this is Master's Touch Purple. Apple Barrel Wisteria. There's my purples. And I'm doing a couple oranges. Um, I have Apple Barrel Tropic Orange and Waverly Rhubarb. And it's kind of funny because I went to Walmart, um, I had all these colors picked out, and I went to Walmart and I was looking at the colors and I thought, oh, maybe I'll add just one more peach or I'll switch it out, and I ended up buying <laughs> the color I already had picked out. So I guess it was a good choice. I don't know. So let me get my canvas set up here and we will get started. Okay, so I mixed a little black um, in with my... Um, eggplant. I wanted it to be just a bit deeper um, for the night sky and of course all these colors are a little bit lighter than they will dry because of the um, Floetrol and um, the matte fluid medium that are um, white and will dry clear. So let's see, I think I'm going to do a swipe. Um, Debbie at Acrylic Pouring did a swipe with a wet paper towel um, on her channel and it, it worked out really well. I think I'm going to try that with this one. So the um, idea is to go from dark to light purple and then the dark peach into the light peach. I do have some black. I might try and I might do black just on the bottom swiping over it um, to kind of give a horizon line. Um, I think I will do that. So let's see. I'm not going to do quite stripes um, of color. Probably should have painted the edges of my canvas because if I swipe this way, um, I'm going to have to make sure those are covered. Okay, so um, I'm going to have it darkest over here. Let's just pour because this is going to take forever right in here. Okay. It's probably down far enough. Let's do some right in here. And then let's come in with my medium purple. Some of the medium purple starting to fill in. Here. Get some over the edge here. My colors are mixed with, I didn't say, I guess. Um, my pouring medium is 50-50 um, Floetrol and that um, Basics matte medium. Um, get some more of this up here. And they all have some of my alcohol blending solution. Um, you know, I really like what's that, what that is doing to my pores. Um, a little goes a long way both in pouring and um, with alcohol inks so um, it really doesn't take a whole lot 
which is nice. Okay. I'm going to add just a little bit more of the deeper. Oops, I'm using my light color. Ah, grabbed the wrong one. That's all right. Let's go over it with this. Okay, I'm going to pour. Oops. Okay. Let's pour. I need to slow down a little bit. Okay, I just had a cup of coffee. trying to keep in mind that when I swipe everything's going to go down um, so probably I guess I can tilt let's tilt just a little bit and after I swipe I can tilt a little maybe once I get all this done I won't want to swipe I don't know maybe it'll look so pretty I'll just want to kind of manipulate it a little bit on the canvas fact, I'm kind of thinking that. That's right, I can try to swipe another day with another pour. Okay, let's go in with the light purple. Starting a little bit up in here. Okay. And then, oh, how did I get purple in my peach? Okay, I need to get that out. Another stick. Okay, I'm sure all of you saw that on camera. I did not see it um, when the purple ended up in my peach. Okay, so I don't want to mix the purple and the peach too much because we certainly don't want mud. Like a smooth transition, but not mud. some black and then I think I'll tilt this way a little bit. I need a smaller stick though. Oops. I'll put the black on pretty carefully. I don't want it to take over at all. Just want a little bit. Well maybe I can pour a little bit more. We do not know what this black has in it. It's been sitting for a couple days. And some saran wrap over it. And I wasn't planning on keeping it, keeping it. So we didn't mark. I usually mark on it. And um, quick little tip, if you mark on your cups and then you... Um, want to reuse them once the paint's out of it. Um, alcohol, or uh, alcohol, alcohol, rubbing alcohol will take the um, Sharpie right off of that so um, you can reuse those cups. The paint peels right off of them, out of them, um, really easily without any trouble at all. So you can pull, um, you can um, peel the paint out, wipe that off with some rubbing alcohol and use your cup again. Kind of like this the way it is. I may not swipe. We'll see though. I like those purples to blend a little bit more together. So let's see what I can do about that. And I don't want the black up so high, so let's tilt back down this way. Oop. Go on black. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's okay, this is getting all my sides covered. 
Okay, I lost some of my medium. Let me wipe my hands off on my cloth here. Okay, so let's go in with some of this medium purple. I kind of have to decide here if I'm going to... I don't think I want to swipe. Um, let's try straw here. I don't know if that's quite going to give me the effect I'm looking for, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. Because I really like the softness of where the peaches are mixing. They're feathered a little bit or mixed a little bit. Let's go back down again. Okay. And up a little bit. Actually, I might go up and then back down one more time to get that black back down. super, super crazy about that sky right in here. Um, okay. Let's go in a little bit with the black. Fill that back in right there. Just a hair bit of the peak. Want to get any more purple in there? Okay. Now that I really like the bottom, what are we going to do about this top? Let me stand up and look at it. Yeah, it's not too bad actually. Looking at it from above. But not super loving it. So now I'm kind of rethinking that whole swipe thing. It's to sort of tone down that, I don't know, I just, I, I'd like a softer look than what I'm getting. Maybe I should have used Oxgall, but I was planning on um, swiping. I like Oxgall watercolor medium when I want more of the softer effect because it, it usually does that really well. But I like the horizon line. So let's see. I could swipe up. Let's try it in one little spot. See what it looks like. Or I could just swipe down and kind of stop. Let's let's give it a shot. This is something that I can sort of control. I'm afraid I'm going to get a weird line where it meets that peach, though. Oops. Okay. 
kind of going with it now. Because it is sort of giving me that softer look that I was looking for. where it's going to take a little bit of finesse not to mess it up. So sorry if I get a little bit quiet here. Well, I think Okay, and I don't want any weird harsh lines, so I really like that horizon line, don't want to mess it up. So let's, let's what? Try the straw real quick. and give it a cloudy look. Ooh, I like that. It does. Kind of gives it a cloudy, cloudy feel. And I'm going to do one thing real fast. I want to take this line kind of over. Like some of those clouds that form really neat lines. I live in Oklahoma and I we have the prettiest sky in some of the neatest clouds. I'm from Ohio, and I just never get tired since we moved here of looking at the sky and the clouds. Of course, sometimes it's scary, but most of the time it's just pretty. Ooh, I kind of like that. I wonder if I can take it through the orange, you know, like a cloud that's covering over, or is it going to really do some funky things if I do that? Let's get some of this drip off purple. Mm. Let's try it. Some of this dark purple. Let's try it. Just once. Okay, let's see if we can sort of. There we go. Okay. Now, let's stand up. See if it needs anything. No, I really like that. That's it. I just need to fill in some black here where it didn't go over the edge of the canvas. I do not need to do that on camera. You guys don't need to watch that. That would be extremely boring. Okay, I'll give you some close-ups. There it is. What do you guys think? Let me know. This kind of sunset inspired pour. There's certainly more black than I was planning, but I really kind of like that horizon line, so I'm leaving it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to know when I post new videos. The little bell will give you notifications. And check me out on Facebook and Instagram. We will see you next time, guys. Until then, happy pouring.